great signs showing Ojuku never gave up with the Piafran struggle until his death is revealed. We leaped across the great chasm that separates knowledge from know-how during those three years of heroic power. We designed and built rockets as well as our delivery system. Our rockets were guarded by us. We took them a long way and guided them precisely. We kept all of our vehicles running for three years, despite being blockaded and unable to import them. Individuals refined petrol in the back gardens, while the state extracted and refined it. We built and maintained our airport, and we did so while being bombarded. Can you imagine? What didn't they do during the war? What didn't the Biafrans came up with during the war? During the war, even while the war was still on, they never gave up with the struggle. They never gave up with creativity. While the war was still on, the brain was still functioning, very active, very active. Can you imagine? Who can be able to do that during the war? See all that they were able to come up with. Why one other person is creating weapons, the other person is producing petrol. Why the other person is working on another technology that we keep the struggle moving. In fact, our predecessors really fought and I will say they succeeded in fact. That is why I do say it that let us stop uh, making use of this statement that Biafrans were defeated during the war. They were not. They were not defeated. Instead, what they did was suspending the war. They didn't give up. If they gave up, Biafran agitation wouldn't have been on by now. The agitation for Biafran freedom wouldn't have been on. It would have been long term, you know, it, 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 it would have been dead for a very long time. But you can see that it's still very much alive. You can see that the Biafrans are still carrying on with the struggle. The struggle is still on. So they were not defeated. Instead, they only suspended it for the meantime until the Republic is actualized. You understand? So, um, some person said that Ojuku abandoned the Biafrans and ran to Côte d'Ivoire. My dear viewers, that is why history is very important. It didn't run. See, let me tell you, um, the wisdom Ojuku applied is the wisdom of a great leader. You see, as a leader, if you see that the going is now becoming too tough, what you need to do is to map out a strategy to press down the going, to press it down a little before reactivating it. So when Ojuku saw that the federal troops are becoming too tough to handle and they are getting more hands and support because that period, the federal troops started having support from different countries. The Egyptians were supporting them. The British were supporting them. The Cameroonians was, were supporting them. It was just only the Biafrans with no support. You understand? So, Ojuku have to apply that wisdom of moving away to Côte d'Ivoire because they believe that Ojuku is the is the leader of the Biafran. So once Ojuku is no longer seen, it as it is it is it it is it, it, it's as believed that the the, 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 the it, it's as believed that 
the agitation for Biafran struggle has come to an end. They will just believe that. You understand? And they will stop striking. And of a truth, the moment Ojuku moved, the attack stopped and ceased. So that's why some persons are now tagging it and saying that Ojuku ran and left the people or abandoned the people. He didn't. He didn't. In fact, that was the period that pressed down the civil war till this very moment that Mazen Namdekano, Owazuruke and other Biafran activists decide to take it up from where Ojuku has stopped. So Ojuku never gave up with the struggle. You can see that even while he was still alive as an aged man, he was still talking about the pursuit for Biafran freedom. Even after his death, he was still buried as a Biafran general, not as any Nigerian military officer. Do you understand? That is just it. So we just have to know about that. We just have to know about that and work on that. So it is believed that Biafrans Biafrans are still very much intact in the pursuit for the Biafran struggle. What the Nigerian government are trying to do is to make you believe that the Biafran struggle has been defeated a long time ago, which is very wrong, which is a lie. There was never a time the agitation for Biafran freedom was defeated or pressed down. Do you understand? It was just suspended, which has been reactivated now. You understand what I'm saying now? And that is why you, as an agitator, you are being advised to amplify, amplify your agitation. Do you understand now? Add more fire to your agitation so that the world will hear your voice. Because now, as it is now, Nigerian government will never get the support that they got then in 1967. That very support has been seized. In fact, those people that supported them are now regretting it. The British are now regretting giving Nigerian support, even the Egypt, Egypt, Egyptians. They are regretting too. Because they never believed that Nigeria would be this kind of country after independence. They thought Nigeria was fighting a good fight. They never knew that at the end of the fight, that the country is going to be a segregated country. A country that focuses on only one region. You see that? All right, let me hear from you from the house to know what's your take concerning this. Um, maybe don't forget to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.